Well, that's definitely round one to the deer. Morning folks, I'm in the hills near Bridge of Orkey again, um, in a location I've come to for a few of my videos now, and uh, I'm here to look for red deer stags, and also to do a bit of testing with this new lens. It is the Nikon 500mm phase Fresnel lens. That I actually talked about in the end of my um, 300 millimeter versus 200 to 500 millimeter test video. Um, I'd had one on pre-order for several months and amusingly it arrived the day after I published that video. But you know that happens. Anyway this promises to be an incredibly lightweight sharp 500 millimeter lens that is going to knock the socks off the 200 to 500 at 500 millimeters. Obviously, it's not a zoom, so I can't zoom out to 200, so I lose that. And at the same time, it's only 100 grams or so heavier than my 70 to 200 millimeter lens, so it's really, really light. And that makes a huge difference in terms of carrying it about on the hill. And if all the great things I've read about this lens online turn out to be true, it's going to be an absolute game changer. And I'm probably going to end up selling uh, not only the 200 to 500, but maybe also the 300 as well, and just have this exclusively as my the wildlife lens. So the reason I wanted to look for the red deer today is that two weeks ago when I was up in the Monlyeth Mountains, I saw that the red deer stags were all in velvet. That's when they're growing a new set of antlers and uh, they've actually still got skin over them and that's got a kind of velvety fur on. So yeah, I saw the stags um, in the Monlyeth were in velvet already and I also saw some last night. Um, it was quite dark, but I did actually manage to get a couple of shots. So uh, kudos to the vibration reduction system on this lens in that I was able to hand hold a 50th of a second and get reasonably sharp images of these deer. Um, now the images are very noisy but my goodness being able to hand hold 50th of a second 500 millimeters with a pack on having kind of trumped along a track for half an hour it's very impressive. Certainly couldn't have done that with the 300 and probably not with the 200-500 either. So the weather's quite changeable today. It's been sunny earlier and uh, there's been a bit of drizzle as well. Um, the best light is when it's sort of bright overcast and uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hoping for when I actually encounter the stags, when I can find them. Um, and talking of that, I'm basically just walking around this area of forestry you can see behind me because I know that they do tend to hang out in this area. And I haven't seen them yet this morning, but I'm just going to continue pottering around here and uh, hope I catch up with them.
found a group of stags and they're further up the hill from me and uh, I think they're the group that uh, I saw yesterday late on in the evening. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to approach particularly close because the cover's not particularly good and uh, I'm not exactly an expert deer stalker but I'm going to use the stream that's sort of next to me here and running off in front of me as a kind of natural cover to cover the sound of me approaching and also because it's a little valley I'll kind of walk along in the bottom of that and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit closer and get some pictures. Dear, oh dear. Well, that's definitely round one to the deer. So the thing about stalking something like that, where you have to kind of pick your way over ground, guessing where they'll be, and then kind of pop up very quietly closer to them, is that it relies on them being in the same place as you originally saw them. But uh, that wasn't the case with these deer. They beautifully outflanked me. I was just getting ready to sort of try and see them where I'd seen them lying on the hillside, relaxing a few minutes earlier, but actually they'd moved about 50 meters around to the right. And so by the time I saw them, I was completely exposed. Um, I managed to get some pictures of them and some video and they were grazing there, but they were definitely aware that I was there and then after a while they just moved off. And now it's absolutely started chucking it down. So I'm gonna go back and get my rucksack and I might even go and hide in the woods for a bit. really chucking it down out there but I've made it into the woods and uh, I'm in the relative shelter now although I can't stop here for very long because the midges will find me pretty soon and it'll be unbearable once that happens um, the deer seem to have had the same idea of getting out of the rain in that uh, I've seen lots of them moving into the top of the woods a bit further along and uh, that's the direction I want to go in next anyway so it makes sense for me to potter along that way now and uh, see if I can catch up with them. I'm very, very pleased that the lens is weather sealed, by the way, because when I was out there and the rain suddenly came on, and while I've got a rain cover for it, that was in the rucksack and the rucksack was here by the edge of the woods. And so by the time I got back here, everything was absolutely soaked. So. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it's weather sealed. On the same subject, the Osmo Pocket that I'm vlogging on is apparently not weather sealed and you shouldn't get it wet. And yet, and this is probably jinxing it, I've got it wet, I've splashed seawater on it, I've dropped it, and it is still working. I am really impressed. Yes, sometimes it has a little bit of a, a thing where when you turn it on, you have to, uh, recalibrate the gimbal a couple of times before it works, but most of the time it just works. I'm really quite impressed. Yeah, so the deer are absolutely beautiful at the moment. Their coats are really russety and uh, you can definitely tell why they're called red deer. Really, really beautiful. Right, better go and see if I can catch up with them.
before the midge find me. Okay, so I've come all the way around that uh, piece of plantation woodland and uh, I'm back where I started. And I've seen a few more deer, um, had some quite nice encounters as I was walking along that fence line. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased with some of the photos I've got. Uh, they look really nice. I've got some pictures of the, the deer actually in the pouring rain as well, but once the rain uh, cleared a bit, there started to be a sort of mist rising out of the woods and that was really cool with that big group of hinds as well as uh, some youngsters in there as well. So they were really nice to see. Um, I'm very impressed with the 500mm face fresnel lens. It's so light and uh, it focuses so much faster than the 200 to 500. It's just brilliant and uh, I've only looked on the back of the camera so far, but the image quality looks to be superb. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Yeah, I've really enjoyed being out on the hill today and watching the deer, it's been great. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. And uh, yeah, if you have, please like and share and leave a comment. And uh, if you like my videos and what I'm doing with my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.